happen right before your eyes. Jehovah God displays a dream in starry desert skies. From Jacob's ladder comes the promise of a mighty nation, Israel, and God is the foundation. We praise His name and see the way He blesses our devotion. The Lord has chosen our family to set His plan in motion. For from the seed of Jacob, God will bring forth the Redeemer. But first the vision's handed down to a man they call the Dreamer. Praise His name. name was Joseph. I'm his younger brother, Benjamin. He was a bit ambitious, though I knew his heart was right. But my ten older brothers never cared much for Joseph, and father's special treatment only added to their spite. Sometimes I can't believe that you were made because of me. That little boy that Rachel held is a young man now I see. And if the Lord will grant it, you will have a son someday. Then you'll know what I feel when I say, when I say like father, like son, you will be my favorite son. A grown up who acts just, just like, like me. And when I look inside my life to see what I have done, I see you, I love you, my son. Joseph, you're a special son above your many brothers. I pray Jehovah guides your path in everything you do. And here's my special gift to you, a coat of many colors. I see myself in all my sons. I see the Lord in you. You make me look inside my life to see what I have done. Like father, like father, like son.
Take a look at the jacket, I'm the Rainbow Kid. You shouldn't have, Dad, but I'm glad you did. Papa loves me more than the others. I can hardly wait to show it to my ten big brothers. Colors dancing on the ceiling. In a colorful coat, I just feel like singing. Come to me, with the light of your love, Lord, shine to me. Like the sun up above, so others can see your colors in me. Let me be the colors of your love. It's me, big brothers. Joe, take a break from the labor, let me tell you what I know. Give a listen to the vision that I had in my sleep. When I'm dreaming dreams, you're counting sheep. It was the middle of the day or thereabout. We were cutting the hay, we were bailing it out. And when the tin hay bales had all been bound, my stack stood up and yours kissed the ground. Say what? Now get this straight, your head could stand to lose some weight. But that ain't all. Dream number two had mom and dad along with you. This one was in a different place. I was on a little walk in outer space. And 11 stars and the moon and the sun all bowed down low to the color-coded one. Oh, wow. This boy's asking for it now. My world was gray until you came and painted my heart. Kaleidoscope shades of kindness and faith and love that will not fade away. Climb Jacob's ladder to the family tree and you'll find a lot of sibling rivalry. Cause Joey's dream caused quite a storm and things at home were getting warm. So the ten big brothers went south a ways to give the sheep a better grace. Daddy told Joe go see your brothers in the south but he should have made a muzzle for Joseph's mouth. What you know? Here comes that green boy, little Joe. He's such a dear. Let's entertain him while he's here. Let's play hide and seek. Yeah, and hide him for about a week. <laughs> How about show and tell, and we'll show him down a wishing well. But first, first we'll take his colored coat and, and wrap it round his little throat. Have I got a plan that's qualified to make us money on the side? Let's rip and roll his coat in mud, then splatter it with, with a little goat blood. We'll say to Dad, we've got a hunch. But little Joe was lying lunch. Oh, Joey, over here, you roo. We've got a big surprise for you. See that exotic caravan? You're going south to get a tan. We've made a deal, and you're the guy. Be sure and tell the bear a hi. It's not as nasty as it seems. It lots of sleep. And pleasant dreams. No one understood the depth of Jacob's love for Joseph, or the agony he felt when he was told his son was dead. I think his sorrow even made my brothers feel ashamed. And though I'd lost my closest brother, I knew God would carry him through the times that were ahead. There is no problem too big, God cannot solve it. There is no mountain too tall, he cannot move it. There is no storm too dark, God cannot calm it. There is no sorrow too deep, he cannot soothe it. If he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulder I know my brother that he will carry you if he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulder I know dear Joseph that he said come unto me There is no 
problem to be, God cannot solve it. There is no mountain too tall, He cannot move it. There is no storm too dark, God cannot calm it. No sorrow to deep, he cannot soothe it. If he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know my brother that he will carry you. If he shoulders I know dear Joseph that he will carry you if he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders I know my brother that he The eyes of youthful pride stared down a dusty nomad's road. The hands that had been lifted up were chained together now. The head he'd always held so high was bowed in silent prayer. Joseph asked the Lord's forgiveness, knowing even in the darkness, God reveals his light somehow. Lord, I'm through. Trying to take the upper hand Never knew But now I think I understand On my own Wanting it in black and white On my knees Things are in a different light Lead me along the path Lead me along the winding way I trust enough to never need the why If you'll take me to the where Lead me along the path Lead me along the winding way I don't know what's around the corner, Lord But I know that you'll be there Wondering what lies in store It's up to you You never let me down before Bubbles burst When I'm the one who knows what's best When you're first I'm never gonna second guess Lead me along the path Lead me along winding way. I trust enough to never need the why if you take me to the where. Lead me along the path. Lead me along the winding way. I don't know what's around the corner, Lord, but I know that you'll be there. Helpless alone, blessed be the times. My point of view points to you, you become my eyes. Lead 
me along the path Lead me along the winding way I trust enough to never need the why If you'll take me to the way I don't know what's around the corner, Lord, but I know that you'll be there. Lord, I know that you'll be there. An Egyptian named Potiphar was captain of the guard. One day he bought Joseph from the caravan in town. And amazingly soon, Joseph was head of his household. His trust in God's leading had turned things around. I'm telling you this, I have told you before. I've had many dreams, but I tell you one more, that the God who created the land and the sea, He is a father to me, aware of me, the way I am. And it's more than I understand It's incredible, unbelievable But it's wonderful to believe It's incredible, unbelievable But it's wonderful to believe La 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 It was a positive spirit that set Joseph apart as he followed God's principles, God gave him success. Potiphar noticed and said, I promote you from head of my household to Lord over all I possess. It's incredible, unbelievable, but it's wonderful to believe. It's incredible, unbelievable, but it's wonderful to believe. He was thinking right then and before he was through. He looked at himself from a new point of view. I'm not living by chance like a leaf in the wind. God's got a plan that I'm in. To my surprise, I realize that I am important to Him. It's incredible, unbelievable, but it's wonderful to believe. It's incredible, unbelievable, but it's wonderful to believe. I'm his wife. I've always had a thing for the finer things in life. When my husband brought home Joseph, the trouble all began. Such a strong and handsome man. I'm accustomed to attention, so of course I was surprised. I find I'm a victim who was never victimized. I'd whisper, come on, big boy, give me a smile. But that big boy wouldn't give me the time of a sundial. Every time I'd look his way, he'd say, don't look at me, I'll be working. How can I sin against God? I've got to flee temptation He wouldn't give me a nod I can't stand rejection and so one day I figured out a way to make Joseph pay I grabbed his coat and pulled it off He turned around and ran But I had exhibit A in my hot little hand When I showed it to my hubby He was very angry Joseph went to jail cause of little old me Now he sits in the dungeon cause he kept God's law I ought to feel bad but nah. Every time I'd look his way, he'd say, don't look at me, I only work here. How can I sin against God? I've got to flee temptation. 
he wouldn't give me a nod. Don't look at me, I only work here, but he don't work here anymore. I guess I ought to be regretful, but he was such a bore. Lord, I know your ways are higher than mine. I'll follow your leading and trust your design. In moments like these, I sing out a song. I sing out a praise song to you, Lord. In my hands to the Lord. Singing I praise you, Lord. Singing I praise you, Lord. Singing
in jail turned Joseph bad. The warden made him prison lad, and inmates told him dreams they'd had. Here's two that you might know, boy. My name's Drinkworthy, and to sum it up, I sampled Pharaoh's food and cup, and he's the Pharaoh's baker. My friend, just call him a doughboy. I dreamed a most delightful vine, grew grapes that were supremely fine. I turned them into splendid wine and gave it to the Pharaoh. The interpretation's from the Lord. He's told me that your job's restored, so give him praise for in three days. You'll be back on the payroll. How delightfully splendid. You need songs of love and songs of praise. You need brand new songs every day. Some forsake your style, go the extra mile. The Lord will be your song of life in every way. I dreamed I had three loaves of bread and baskets on my little old head. And then some birds flew down and fed their faces on my cookie. The good news is you cook quite well. The bad news I don't care to tell. I'll go ahead. Three days you're dead. You sure you ain't messed up? You better sing a song real loud. And sure enough, on Judgment Day, the judge restored the butler's pay. But as for Doughboy, let's just say the baker met his maker. You gotta sing a song. One song is not enough. We need another. Need more when the going gets rough. You better sing a sing song. The blues when times are tough. You need another. One song. The butler made a promise that he'd go before the pharaoh to tell him Joseph's situation and the way that he'd been treated. Well, the promise was forgotten and the days turned into years. But through it all, God provided patience and the faith that Joseph needed. When down in disappointment hide the morning sun When all my dreams have ended all my songs are sung, His Spirit soars within me, every doubt is gone, I see a new horizon and sing a grand
The dreamer has been summoned by Pharaoh himself. Walking through the palace halls, Joseph recalls all that's happened and where he's been. After two years in the dungeon, he is finally remembered. His trust in God's direction is rewarded once again. Father God, I feel your hand again, pressing me to move with your plan again, lifting high all that's worthwhile. I present the man called Joseph. Arise, young man, and let me tell just why I've sent for you. My butler tells me that you can interpret dreams and visions, and last night in a fitful sleep I had exactly two. My dream saw seven healthy cattle grazing by the river, then from the Nile in single file came seven more besides. These cows were thin and haggard, and their eyes said they were hungry. They snuck up on the fat cows, and they swallowed those raw hides. Every day's a life with them. The second dream was stranger. I saw seven giant corn stalks attacked by seven scrawny stalks invading from the south. Again, the small ones ate the big ones. I can't understand it. I know a corn stalk comes with ears, but where did it get the mouth? The future is revealed to Egypt by Almighty God. After seven years of plenty will come seven famine years. So my advice to Pharaoh is, appoint a wise commissioner to store supplies of food before the food all disappears. God's spirit is upon you, Joseph. Your advice is taken. I make you, Commissioner, my second in command. God's wisdom must be in you. Arise, take my ring. I give you charge of all the land. A new beginning is just beginning. I feel the breakthrough, the winning. And there's a fresh flow of the spirit. A mighty river, can't you hear it? I'm singing praises like a new song. The change. Darkness turns to light, love's transformation. 
new beginning came in many different ways for Joseph. He married an Egyptian girl, began a family, and quickly set in motion all the programs he'd planned. But through all of his good fortune, the memory of his own sufferings gave him a heart of true compassion for the people of the land. Every time I see your smiling face I wish it would rub off and set a pace to chase the world around that hate could not be found and left no trace everything in harmony what a world it would be I wish the entire human race Each day could feel a tender, warm embrace Have shoes upon their feet And have enough to eat Live happily If only man and woman were free What a world it would be Everybody had a mutual goal One language and one destiny If every man had peace within his soul The way it was meant to be There's a hope that dwells within my mind that each and every one of us could find a place without despair if only we would dare sometime somewhere if all of us could find the key what a world it would be Of me can see a world in perfect harmony. What a world it would be a better place for you and me. What a world it would be. What a world it will be. Meanwhile, back at Jacob's Ranch in Canaan. We were underfed, for the famine had spread, so the brothers went south to buy some bread. Down, down, down to Egypt, down, 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 where all the food is found. Down, down, down to Egypt, down, 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 we're pyramid bound. And then I think we'll see the Sphinx, we'll stop at touch for food and drinks. We'll cross the Nile in single file and give the king our broadest smile. Down, down, down to Egypt, down, 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 down to Egypt, all the way down. Hi oh, goodbye oh, and off we go to Pharaoh.
Joe saw his brothers but decided to wait and reveal himself at a later date. When the brothers walked up, they didn't have a clue that the governor was you-know-who. I'm scared. Me too. I can hardly walk. Just let me handle all the talk. Oh, great vice pharaoh of the land, we kiss the ground on which you stand. Your radiance lights the morning sky. And you seem like a real swell guy. We come before you on our knees. We, we humbly ask you, pretty please. Just make your point and make it plain. Could we swap silver for some grain? It seems to me extremely weird that each one of you wears a beard. Those whiskers are a cheap disguise. I think you're undercover spies. Say what? Now this here bushy beard was made from five full years without a blade. Oh no, great pharaoh number two, we'd never try to spy on you. We look alike, we're brothers, see? We're one big happy family. Have all the brothers come for grain? Yes, no. I best explain, there were twelve sons, but not today. One stayed with dad, one passed away. I'll release nine of you on bail, but one must stay down here in jail. When you've returned with the other son, I'll believe you and free everyone. So nine returned and one was kept, as Joseph turned his back and softly wept. Back, 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 to Canaan. back, back, back. Back, 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 we got our bags all packed. We put the sacks on camels' backs and now these boys are making tracks. Back, 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 to Canaan. back, back, back. Back, 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 to Canaan. all the way back. Joseph sent food back with his brothers, but he'd rather have sent himself. He longed to see his father and end the masquerade. And yet, had his brothers been forgiven? Had the past really been forgotten? Joseph needed inner peace as he went alone to pray. Lord, I need you to be all the gentleness in me. I've been trying by myself, struggling all along. From the very start, I knew. I made the long journey with my brothers back to Egypt, but I couldn't understand why the governor had sent for me. We came upon the palace and I was awed by its beauty. I'd never seen such wondrous sights in all my memory. The servants took us to the banquet hall. The governor was to meet us. We were surprised to find that a lavish feast had been prepared. From behind a satin curtain stepped the governor in all his splendor. When he asked us how our father was, I wondered why he cared. He'd arranged to have us seated in the order of our ages. We couldn't understand, and we were all astonished that he would even know. He looked at me and said, You must be Benjamin, the youngest. Then he quickly turned and told us he had to go. At daybreak we departed with our loaded sacks of grain. We'd hardly left the town when we were stopped by Pharaoh's men. They opened my sack and found the governor's silver goblet. Then they arrested us and took us to his house again. My brothers fell before him, and they begged him to show mercy. The governor made his servants leave. Emotion filled his voice. There's no need to be afraid, he said. I am your brother Joseph, and all has been forgiven. So forget the past and rejoice. At first, no one could believe their ears, so he broke the silence. Please don't feel guilty. It's really me, Joseph. It was God who sent me here alone to save lives during the famine and preserve our family. Then we all embraced and wept, knowing God's ways are higher than our own. You are the one who put the stars up in the sky to brighten up the emptiness of
Lift our hands, we sing alleluia, sing alleluia, join in our hands. on my brother's life and all that he became, I see the way the Lord can use us if we have the courage to trust him, obey him, and praise his name. Praise his name and say it happened. Let the power of God become alive in your life. Are you dry? Do you thirst after more? 